Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will go through some of the core NIFI terminologies you need to know to understand how NIFI works. NIFI is based on a different programming paradigm called flow-based programming. I am not going to explain the definition of flow-based programming. Instead, I will tell how NIFI works, then you can connect it with the definition of a flow-based programming. Okay, let's get started. NIFI consists of atomic elements which can be combined into groups to build simple or complex data flow. NIFI has processors and process groups. What is a processor? A processor is an atomic element in NIFI which can do some specific task. The latest version of NIFI have around 280 plus processors and each has its own responsibility. Example, the get file processor can read a file from a specific location, whereas a put file processor can write a file to a particular location. Like this, we have many other processors, each with its unique aspects. We have processor to get data from various data sources and processors to write data to various data sources. The data source can be almost anything. It can be any SQL database server like Postgres or Oracle or MySQL or it can be no SQL databases like MongoDB or Couchbase. It can be also be your search engine like Solar or Elasticsearch or it can be your CAD server like Redis or HBase. It can even connect to Kafka messaging queue. NIFI also has a rich set of processors to connect with Amazon AWS entities like S3 buckets and DynamoDB. NIFI have a processor for almost everything you need when you typically work with data. We will go deep into various types of processors available in NIFI in later videos. Even if you don't find a right processor which fits your requirement, NIFI gives a simple way to write your custom processors. Now let's move on to the next term. Flow file. What is a flow file? The actual data in NIFI propagates in the form of a flow file. The flow file can contain any data. Say CSV, JSON, XML, plain text, or it can even be SQL queries or binary data. The flow file abstraction is the reason NIFI can propagate any data from any source to any destination. A processor can process a flow file to generate new flow file. The next important term is connections. In NIFI, all processors can be connected to create a data flow. This link between processors is called connections. Each connections between processors can act as a queue for the flow files as well. The next one is process group and input and output put. In NIFI, one or more processors are connected and combined into a process group. When you have a complex data flow, it's better to combine processors into logical process groups. This helps in better maintenance of the flow. A process group can have input and output ports which are used to move data between them. The last and final term you should know for now is the controller services. Controller services are shared services that can be used by the processors. For example, a processor which gets and puts data to a SQL database can have a controller service with the required DB connection details. Controller services is not limited to DB connections. We will see more use of controller services in the later videos. That's it for this video guys. I hope you got a fair understanding of some of the critical components used in NIFI. We have more terminologies or component types in NIFI which we will learn throughout this course. For now, these key components are enough for you to get started. Thank you. See you in the next video.